Investing in gold is a timeless pursuit that has fascinated civilizations throughout history. From the pharaohs of Egypt to the emperors of Rome, gold has symbolized wealth, power, and stability. Even today, investors seek gold and other precious commodities as a store of value. That is, something that holds its value over time. In this video, I'll be introducing you to Goldie, a new kid on the block, making it easier for everyday Kiwis to invest in gold. While a one kilogram gold bar, like this, costs over $100,000, Goldie divides the bar into 10,000 pieces, allowing you to buy just a slice of it. There are many advantages to this that I'll cover later in the video. Make sure you stay tuned as I have a discount code that gives you $15 to get started on the Goldie website. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe down below to see all my future content in the personal finance and investing space. So let's talk a bit about Goldie themselves. The company started in November last year. It's New Zealand based and has since built up total deposits of nearly $200,000 according to the Catalyst website. It was started by a couple mates who saw a market gap for investing in real things. Sharesies is great for investing in stocks, but what about all the other investment classes such as precious metals, art, classic cars, shoes, or even trading cards. That's where Goldie comes in. They are starting with the sale of gold, but over time they want to expand into other investment classes. The company is divided into two parts, Goldie Vaults Limited and Goldie Nominees Limited. This is the same kind of structure you'll see with the likes of Sharesies to protect investors. Goldie Vaults is the one that manages the website, all the costs of daily operations like staff and overheads, and basically everything that is required to keep the business going. The other company, Goldie Nominees, is the one that actually holds the gold and any deposits that you have on their platform. This is important as it means there's a clear separation between Goldie as a business and the entity that holds your investment. They can't then access your money to pay their staff and that kind of thing. So how does it work? Imagine a one kilogram gold bullion bar for a second. At current prices, it sells for about $106,000. This, of course, is too large an investment for most people. Goldie goes out to the market and buys the gold bar and they divide it up into 10,000 pieces, each representing a tenth of a gram. If you've used sharesies before, you'll recognize the term fractional shares. Goldie is very similar, where instead of slicing up a stock into many parts, they do so with the gold bar. This lowers the amount you need to get started investing, which for the smallest slice is a tenth of a gram, which comes to just over $10. The current wholesale price for gold is a little over $106,000 for a kilogram, which is about the same as what Goldie currently charges. The question you'll be asking is, why don't I just go and buy gold directly? I can even buy it at Costco. Well, buying precious metals like gold can actually be a massive hassle. First up is storing it. Have you ever lost your phone and started freaking out? Well, imagine doing that with a $100,000 block of gold. Where would you put something so valuable that you'd remember many years later? The second thing to think about is security. If someone robs your house, the first thing they'll go for is your gold. Every kilogram of gold is worth over 100 grand, so you'll need to invest in a vault or a safe deposit box at a secure facility. Third up is a potential loss of value. When you buy and sell physical gold, you'll lose money on the buy-sell spread. It's a bit like exchanging money at the mall. You'll never get the same exchange rate that you see on Google. The difference between the buy and sell price on the board outside the shop is how they make their money, and gold traders are no different. They'll need to pay rent, staff, utilities, a whole suite of expenses just to stay open. So you can be sure you'll get a bad deal. Here's an example. Through Goldie, we could see the price per gram was about $106.10, or $106,100 per kilo. If we instead look at the New Zealand Mint website, they sell their physical gold for over $109,000 for the same one kilogram, roughly $3,000 more than on Goldie. So Goldie simplifies the process as they take care of all the shortcomings of owning gold directly. The gold is stored with New Zealand Vault Limited, either in Wellington or Auckland. This is a highly secure facility and they've been doing this kind of thing since 1931. They also handle the insurance on the gold at replacement value as part of the storage arrangement. As with any trading platform, Goldie of course charges fees. This allows them to pay all the costs associated with operating a trading platform. When you buy gold through Goldie, you are charged a transaction fee of 0.89%. When you sell, you're charged 0.5%. This is fairly low when we compare it to other investing platforms such as Sharesies, which charges 1.9%. Aside from transaction fees, if you have over $300 invested in Goldie, you'll need to pay a storage and insurance fee. This comes to 0.33% per year on the value of your investment, with a minimum charge of $1.50. These fees are obviously pretty transparent and easy to understand. So with all the background information now covered, 
Let's take a walk through the platform. To sign up with Goldie, you'll need to sign up with your name and identification. As a trading platform, it is the law in New Zealand for them to collect identification information for AML and KYC purposes. So you start out by giving them your email address, confirming it again, setting up a password, and you also have the option of using a referral code. On their website, the best they'll offer is $10 to get started. But by using my link shown here, you'll get an even better $15 to allow you to get started investing straight away. Going back to the sign up screen, tick the boxes and click next. You'll then be asked to confirm the email address and input a code. Once that's done, here are the requirements to join. You must be aged above 18, have an email address, a New Zealand residential address, and have a valid driver's license. You'll then be asked to key all this information in as well as your driver's license details. Once that's done, you're through. You can now make your first purchase. Having used my link, you should now have $15 to get started. Adjust the slider bar on the right hand side of the page. This reduces the amount of gold you're buying. In our case, let's go for the minimum amount of a tenth of a gram for $10.61. I then click the buy button and I'm taken to the purchase screen. Here I can see that I'm buying a tenth of a gram of gold. I have $15 in my wallet and this will cost me $10.70 with a calculated nine cents in fees. Once happy, click confirm purchase. And there we have it. I now own a small slice of a one kilogram gold bullion bar stored down in Wellington. I can even see on their website exactly where it's stored, which is pretty neat. Clicking on the My Vault option on the left hand side of the page, you can view your current investments. Right now, I just own gold, but from the looks of their website, they'll shortly be releasing silver, which is pretty exciting. They also have this video option, which I guess shows them holding the real gold bar you've invested in. You'll also have the insight button, which shows you how your investment has performed. I just bought mine, so there isn't much to show here. You can also see the transaction history and have the option to sell your gold. You can simply select the amount you wish to sell, view the 0.5% fee or five cents, and then sell. Going back, we also have the option to invest in more gold, should we wish. Under my vault, you can also see trade. Crossed out is art and collectibles. So this is something to look forward to on the platform. For the time being, it just takes us back to where we were before. Under that, we have gift, where you can purchase gift cards for others. If you were given a gift card to get started, here is where you'll put in the redemption code. The final option we have is the account section, starting with settings where our personal data is stored. Your identification, bank accounts, account security, and all that kind of thing can be found here. After that we have the wallet section. Here we can see our balance, deposit money in, withdraw money out, or again buy gift cards. We can also see the account history. Below that is the kids vault where you can set up a kids account. Under that we have the tutorial section which is a fairly brief slideshow. Skipping past that we have the contact options either by phone or by email. And finally we have the auto invest feature allowing us to set up an investment plan to periodically invest automatically into gold through the platform. So that basically rounds out the video. If you want $15 to get started with Goldie make sure to use my link provided down below and in the video description. If you like this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel down below to see all my future content in the personal finance and investing space. Thanks for watching and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.